I saw the trailer, ooh, ooh, and it's got me so excited, and I had to talk about it, and no, I was playing. <laughs> Alright guys, your boy DeAnthony coming back at you. Now, I don't really do these, but I figured let's give it a good try. I don't really like the whole reaction videos, because it's like, why do I want to see how you reacted to the video that I liked or didn't like. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But let's just try it. We're going to have a little discussion. We're going to just talk about it. Let me just let me do a real reaction. So I'm going to be pausing, playing, stopping, starting. You know what it is. So let's get down to the Thor Ragnarok trailer. Just released today. I think it was today. Already type of videos out about how are these people putting these, these videos out the same day. You ain't got no jobs. Oh, YouTube is your job. I feel you, bro. When I get older, I'm going to grow up and be like, y'all, YouTube going to be my job. Nah, no offense to nobody. I'm just saying. Y'all getting them out real quick. Give me an opportunity. So let's take a look at this video. Let's start over. Up in the chains. I've been riding a rock with like hell. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's a long story. She didn't grab the hammer. She was like, bro. What is this hammer? This hammer ain't nothing to a boss. That's interesting. You can see where her powers come from. She holding the holding the uh the hammer. We got the army. Now, is she killing all of Ragnarok with one bow? Where are y'all at, man? Y'all ain't got no powers up in there? Like, no archive powers that y'all could use to, like, defend yourselves? I'm just saying. Well, let's just go. Hey, let's cute him, old bruh. Now, I don't know if y'all just saw, there was like this griffin-looking thing he was riding. That looked pretty dope, yo. I need to see. I like I want to know all the creatures, yo. Can't just be just Asgardians. Got to be some creatures. What, where, where are they at? So I like how they brought them. They're bringing them out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's keep going. They're dragging my, they're dragging my brother. Or brother for another mother. They dragging him out, locking him in chains. Now, honestly, I feel like this is going. This is, must be like torture to him, because he's like, I'm a god to nothing. How y'all gonna capture a god? By the way, like y'all that powerful? Y'all capturing gods? That's kind of interesting, ain't it? Oh man, my girl, she is. Boy, I don't know her name, but from Westworld, the executive black girl, I don't know her name, but she is foing, yo. She's been in some other stuff, too, but I remember, that's like the most recent thing I remember, and she is foing. Let's keep going. What have you brought today? Tell me. A contender. Okay, somebody want to tell me what Jeff Goldblum is doing in there? Um... I don't know, man. He really killing the vibe, man. I don't know. I think he's been away from movies too long that he's just not good. Because um, the Independence Day uh, resurgence was garbage. His performance was garbage. The movie was garbage. So he should not be in this movie. Um, I'm just going to throw that out there. Sorry, y'all. Did y'all see Idris Elba, yo? Killing it, yo. Now, I'm excited. Did y'all you know, know I'm excited about the black man. So, hey, don't trip. He looked dope. I hope he does a lot more in the movie than he did in the past. Loki's ass need to just sit down, bro. Your plans don't ever win. Like, why are you 
always hating on Asgard. What did Asgard ever do to you? They fed you. They put clothes on your back. A roof over your head. You better be grateful. Little ma. 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 Sucker. <laughs> here, he, here he go with his antics and tricks. It's main event time. Main event, yo. What do you think about the new helmet? Because we got the first helmet in the beginning, the first movie. Now we got this new retro looking kind of helmet. Look kind of... I'm digging, I'm digging it. I mean, it's not his... It's not Asgardian. So, I'm just asking like, you know, maybe did he pick it out? Did he see something that he like... It, it uh, reminded him of and got that one? Just little thoughts, just little thoughts. Got the Hulk, boy. Now, the Hulk is my favorite character. One of my favorite, well, yeah. One of my favorite characters from the um, Marvel Universe. So, I'm excited to see him back in a movie, yo. Killing it. Because, cause I don't know if you guys saw the animated movie, um, Thor vs. Hulk. Dope. Dope. Y'all got to see that if y'all haven't seen it. Y'all got to see it before y'all see this movie. Y'all got to see it. Hmm. We know Why is he excited? He's a friend from work. Oh, Why is he excited? He ain't never been able to take the Hulk in none of the movies. He's, yes, I know him. Well, then you know you about to get your ass whooped. So, smile off, because it's about to go down. You think, you think that, because I'm assuming that Hulk has been captured and thrown to this planet. So, by the Avengers, that's that's what the story is. It's how he gets to Planet Hulk, or wherever he is right now. But they capture him because he, he's just wilding out on Earth, and he can't take it no more, so send your ass to another planet. And so they're not going to be friends right now. You know him, but he ain't your friend right about now. So... Y'all better, you better get with it, Thor. Because you know him, but that means you know his strength, too. So then Thor gonna do the Horlukin! Or whatever that sound is when they do the uppercut. I don't know, man. Thor Ragnarok coming soon, yo. Man. That was a pretty good trailer, you know. The other ones haven't really been that great. I do like the Thor movies. First one was kind of like, ah. I like the second one a lot better. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this one. So I, I'm feeling it right there. So what are you guys thinking? Is this something y'all want to go see? Oh, that's a dumb question. Everybody want to see. Everybody don't go see Thor. So let me. Hey, but if you're not, go ahead and comment down there. Let me know what you thought. I'm definitely going to go see it because I review movies. So that's what I do. So I'm excited to be able to review a movie that I'm already excited about. So I'm going to go see it. Um, we got a lot of stuff in there. Uh, Loki is definitely at his, you know, at his tricks again. You know, it, they got him and, and Goldblum sitting next to each other on the, the couch throne thing. Whatever it is. So we know that Loki's a part of it. And he's trying to watch his brother fight and get beat up. Or possibly die or whatever. Because Asgardian is dead. <clears throat> And that actually leads me to what I wanted to talk about. So I know a lot of people are all hyped up about it and stuff like that. But there are some things that I don't like about the trailer because it's going to put a certain vibe in the movie. I feel like these movies are, or this movie in particular, is trying to like use the formula that Guardians of the Galaxy is using. And I think that, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty good. I am looking forward to seeing the uh, Volume 2. But every Marvel movie doesn't need to be that formula. It works for them because, you know, they are smaller or less known characters. So they need to, you know, be funny, you know, to get people interested. Um, I think Thor doesn't need to be so much. The issue I have with Marvel is that they never... Well, let me just say, not, not necessarily Marvel, but 
Yeah, Marvel. Not all the movies, but a lot of their movies never leaves me like as if I just watch an action movie. It's more as I just like watch a cartoon show, like a show real quick. You know, I never feel like, oh my God, did you see what happened? Did you see the, the drama? Did you see the intensity in her eyes? Did you see? I never feel like that. It's like, oh, that's cool. It was, it's like, oh, it was fun. But it was never like, oh my God, did you just see what happened? Like, for instance, with Civil War. Civil War, good movie. Nice movie. You know, I did like the, the, the five scenes, but I didn't feel like they was in a war or even mad at each other. You know, so it, the themes that they put on the actual movie never go with the actual vibe or the presence of, you know, what the characters are portraying. You know, if, if she says all of Ragnarok is dead, I mean, all of Asgard is dead, then there needs to be some sadness there needs to be like some sense of urgency here that I gotta, we gotta get this shit together. Like, my whole world has crashed. Now, is that a little dark? Maybe. But then don't use words like dead. You know, like, that is a, to me, life and death is, is very important. So when I see people not taking it serious, it, it messes with me a little bit. And then you're gonna put them in the ring with Hulk. And he's like, I know him, yeah! Then you know you about to get your ass whooped. So it shouldn't be that exciting. Like, you should feel some type of way about having to fight the Hulk. Like, bro, you ain't got your hammer. And the Hulk is pretty, uh, beast. So let's not pretend like you can just hang with him like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. So those are the two issues that I have with the trailer is that it just, they don't, the movies never have like a sense of urgency, but they tell you there is. Civil War, people dying, Asgardians dead, don't have my, my, my hammer anymore, fighting a Hulk, like shit, these things are deep, but they never actually go deep, you know, they only scratch the surface, they're very superficial movies I feel like. Which, I mean, it, to me, kind of hurts them. Because a lot of their movies, I feel like, are very forgettable. And they all just kind of merge together. Names are forgettable. What they did are forgettable. You know, we're just fans and we like to see our actual characters on screen. But if they weren't the characters that we knew and loved, would you would still like the movies? Like, would they be as, as held to that standard of 90% that Rotten Tomatoes like to give every single... Marvel movie, but they still be that. I don't think so. So that's just my thing. So I know people are gonna hate this part, but I'm just being real. So if you guys feel the way I feel, then let me know. If you guys think that hey, I like the comedic value that they put in all these Marvel movies, and they don't actually concentrate on the actual issues that they portray, like in the wording and uh, the literature that you see, like. He's in hell. He's in hell. Like, that's what Ragnarok is. It's like they're hell. So, this is serious. It's not a game. Not a game. But I guess when you got Goldblum up there, I guess it's kind of easy to just forget about this is a serious situation because he's kind of killing it. And I like Goldblum. No, no, no disrespect. I like him and a lot of his older stuff. But I feel like in today's society, in today's acting, he just doesn't fit. I'm just, I'm just being honest. He's a little outdated, and he needs to work on his chops. I'm just saying. But, all right, guys. So, that is my official review of the actual trailer. I know it's a little long. I apologize. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that, you know, some of the things that I was saying are legit, or you think it may be I'm tripping? Let me know and get back to me. All right, guys, I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Take a look at our other stuff uh, that we do on our page, and peace.